everyone, I'm Professor Hatter. I uh, want to make a quick video here, uh, a little update on a new project that we're going to use for future videos. So, I had heard from Chicago Joe, this guy I watch on uh, YouTube, uh, Team Fitted. I'll provide the, the link to the channel in the description down below. Uh, last Wednesday, he had said, you know, just randomly go to one of your lid stores because he had a friend who was the manager of a lid store in Chicago and they're giving away or they're throwing away the hat stands for the NFL logo element hats when they first came out in uh, late September. So I went to a lid store on States on Michigan Avenue and they said, yeah, can have them. Can I have them all if you want? So I'm like, okay, I'll take three of them. Well, I didn't realize how big they were. It's a, I thought it was going to be like a little like thing you put on a table, but this is pretty much the table if you can get a nice grasp of it. I mean, it's nice. New Era Logo Elements Collection, NFL, New Era. It's a great hat stand. By the way, I had the day I'm wearing. I wore it today to work. I had a purple shirt on. I couldn't really find anything else that matched, and I hadn't worn before to work, so I wore my Northwestern top of the world mesh fitted stretch fitted hat so as you can see it's a pretty nice hat rack here or hat stand so i'm going to use this box this hat stand for future videos when i do hat reviews of my new hats and eventually i'm going to finally finally do one hat 101 video like my brother has been requesting me for to do since the start of the YouTube channel, which I know I kind of slack lost, I kind of slacked on that, but also to do my individual hat reviews, going through all of my hats and individually reviewing them, telling the story behind them, why I got them, why it means so much to me. So I'm going to be painting this a different color because in the camera shots it's going to say logo elements and. I'm not promoting them and it's just kind of distracting. It's a nice gray color, but I'm thinking of going with a different color. I started spray painting the other night, and you can see I went with like a uh, lighter gray, technically. That's what the uh, paint can add on, and then a white. And uh, I don't do so well with spray paint. I'm not the uh, hands on kind of guy like my brother and dad are. but. I'm going to paint this whole thing a new color and then put it together, reinforce the, yeah, wait, I almost got it, I almost got it, there we go, reinforce the the hat stain on the, the top here because this cardboard is flimsy, so I'll find a way to super glue it, make it like really sturdy and nice so it's not, you know, just flopping around. So this is going to be my next big project, so I can do more hat reviews, and hey, it was free, so pretty good stuff. It is pretty awkward to carry on, carry down Washington and Madison Avenue downtown, and to also carry on the Metro train. That was fun. Anyways, uh, other quick hat updates. Um, looking at New Hampshire uh, Fisher Cats. They have uh, some political hats that I want to get. They're on the expensive side. You know, I don't like to pay, pay full price, so I'm going to work on getting those hats soon. And going to get a Bears hat soon. Uh, I'm making this video after the Braves lost 3-1 uh, in the series to L uh, LA in the NLDS. So, first of all, fuck Los Angeles. I might hate the Brewers, but go Brewers this time. And uh, so I'm done with baseball for the for the year. So I'm going to make a video after I get my Bears hat. I'm going to rearrange that hat wall again, like I did a few weeks ago already. So look for look for some new videos coming out soon. And hopefully I can get to use this after I uh, fix it up. All right, thanks for watching. Hats off to you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, get those notifications going. 
and I will see you later. Bye.